Hey guys, you're here with Night of It for Blender, and this one's gonna be a fix of Geo for Naveen, one of my viewers on YouTube who sent me this file. Um, this is a really cool example uh, of uh, a Geo not fitting uh, the bullions, okay? Because when I go here to, um, to edit mode, you'll see that these faces barely support themselves, okay? You see this uh, curvature here, it's breaking, right? And if you run tiny bullions like this through it, it's just disaster waiting to happen, right? So the way to, the way to fix this, right, is first of all let me just uh, turn off this uh, face orientation, and let's grab these and SZZ make them uh, larger, and also uh, let me turn the screen cast keys on so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So now uh, the way I would fix this, right, I would probably use Mm, mesh machine um, so dissolve these edges and select this one and control select this one press Y and uh, refuse and simply add more segments here until it goes up to uh, 30 okay and now you see that the situation improved it's not perfect yet but improved so now I'll simply drop some loops here, one of them here, uh, another one I'll drop here, and probably uh, at least four maybe uh, in here, okay? Let's see how we can solve this issue here. Now we got this cut in here, right? We could move them a little bit, you know? Let's grab this cutter and shift Z, and we're gonna move it a little bit, okay? So G, Y, uh, sorry, G, X, and we're gonna move it down a bit. So it's in the middle between uh, these two beams, okay, these two edges, right? So shift Z again. And this is this is already going to um, improve our situation. So now what we need to do is apply this, right? So sharpen. And then we're going to do bevel, right? And you can see that the bevel is going to, you know, ruin our day a bit. But we can fix this, okay? So let's bring it to local and go closer, okay? And let's try to fix this, right? So first of all, we're going to move this one a little bit away, okay? So GG and move it a bit away outside the bevel, right? Um, this one, GG and move it outside the bevel. And we're going to have to connect these. So connect this here, connect this one here. Whoops. Uh, this one here and move this one, this and this one a little bit outside, just a bit, yeah? Here the same. Grab these two and GG, move them a little bit outside connect here and connect well connect here and we should be done okay and now we're gonna you know symmetrize it so d symmetry boom right and there you go shading fixed so this is a i guess it's classic situation where um, the geometry simply is not dense enough to support cuts um, so you can create very nice and you know clean bullions. Um, the only the only thing that you need to do is simply think ahead um, how to run your uh, run your geometry underneath your bullions, especially in, in situations where um, you know where where you have curvature. Okay, now the bottom here is going to be messed up because you know uh, there's way too much geo here, but. To be honest, before actually um, applying the bullions, you know, I could have removed uh, these edges here, okay, because we don't technically need them, all right? So I could remove all these here and dissolve them, right? And then apply the boolean. Now it's not going to work because it's going to remove part of these edges, but like I said, um, I could remove beforehand because this is a flat surface, right? You don't need you don't need any support in here. Uh, you need only one edge supporting, you know, each of these cuts, right? But uh, problematic areas in here, okay? So that's how to, you know, how to handle this this issue. And you can see the shading is perfect, right? So when I apply weighted normals, it's going to be basically, you know, almost uh, almost flawless. And uh, if this causing you still problems, then you probably have to um, run something like normal transfer um to to create a perfect shading but i think it's just you know this is good enough i mean it's pretty clean so anyway guys
hope it helps you out thanks for sending the file man and uh, catch you in the next video and if anyone is interested uh, there are links to mesh machine and other add-ons that i'm using in the video description so if you want to buy it um, get it because it's a great add-on yeah. thanks for watching catch you next video